Hey, welcome to Incom Solutions. Today we're going to be building ourselves a rack whiz block uh, node that I'm going to have on my balcony here in Albania in this apartment I live in. I live on the sixth floor, so that gives me a pretty good uh, height advantage, plus I'm kind of up on a hill. So um, I should get pretty good coverage. Uh, now I do kind of want to eventually add a Yagi antenna that'll be attached or attached to like the railing and then a coaxial cable going into the into the enclosure box. But that's gonna go, that'll be in the future project just pointed towards town. I also have a contact or I've picked up a node in Montenegro, which is about 83 miles away or where this node is at. It looks like a repeater node up on a hill uh, in a, on a tower. And so I wanna make contact with them, uh, but <laughs> I think I need a Yagi to make that happen. Anyways, so picked up this WizBlock starter kit. Obviously it doesn't come with this case. And if you don't know where the WizBlock starter kit is, I'll, I'll have links for all this stuff down below. I am affiliated with Rack and Rockland, depending on which link you choose. Um, <clears throat> so the 3D pin and case I printed prior to arrival um, to Albania because my 3D printer is at home in the US. So uh, I'm gonna have a couple different options here. I'm gonna put it in this enclosure because eventually um, I might wanna just take it out and take it on the road with me or whatever. Um, but I also feel like, because this enclosure, I have limited supplies here and I'm not gonna just, you know, buy a ton of stuff that it's, I'm not gonna end up taking back to the States with me. I don't wanna do that. So what do I have? So I have the starter kit. I have one of my antennas that I'm currently gonna use. This is the um, TE connectivity. This is a 868 megahertz version that uh, I'm using here in Europe because that's Europe. I went ahead and went to the store and picked up some, some washers. I uh, got these, uh, you know, they're M8 kind of fender style washers or what I call fender style washers. Um, and then I picked up some smaller washers. looks like the, or after some testing, the M6s worked to kind of fill, because that M8 hole is just a little big. So that'll work for me. That's gonna, we're gonna pop a hole through this, use some uh, uh, silicone, and silicone that into there to allow uh, a weather tight seal. Part of my balcony is covered, so it's not gonna get huge amounts of rain. I mean, it will get rain, but not too bad. The whiz block's already been flashed, flashed with the uh, latest firmware, the 2.3.4, which just came out. I have a GPS module I'm gonna be putting in, and then I'm additionally, just because I think it would be kind of fun to do, is I picked up one of these environmental sensors that'll give you the uh, air quality. So um, we do have the air quality here can be uh, kind of bad. Uh, and so it'd be cool to have my own monitoring station that I can see. Uh, and then I do have a screen. I've never done the OLED screen or display on a uh, whiz block. I won't be doing that now. I won't be doing that until the future. I do have a couple more of these uh, at home that I will be bringing back when I after I make a trip back to the States this summer so I can do more projects. All right, let's get started. All right, so <clears throat> I've got the that glued in there. Um, I ended up cutting it down a little bit more so that sits in there. Uh, it should work. So now I'm gonna do kind of the, the tricky part of this is because I'm not mounting obviously the SMA connector into here, because that's how this case is designed, is to have that, um, let me see if I, you know, like this, up through that hole, which you would mount in there, like that. I'm just gonna route this down through here. Um, so, but I gotta do that before I put the, obviously, before I put the case together. I won't be able to access the um, access that to connect the terminal here. All right, got that in there. So <clears throat> get all 
this, route the battery. So like I said I wanted to obviously have that connected before before I hit put the juice to it. And always double check, always double check your your polarity that red to red there, just because you can get ones that are incorrect. Don't ask me how I know. All right, so there's that. The back case, piece of the case there. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and slide this on here. This would be a, like a, a design improvement for this. Would be to uh, make that solid there and then have it th pressed in. Insert, so I'm gonna take a little tool here. The 332nd. Get one of those hand tight. And then that battery must be dead. There's no lights. <clears throat> so, obviously, before we deploy this, I'm going to have to charge it. Of course, we'll have to configure it too. Now, wouldn't this case be cool? They do have a, and I'll probably print that when I'm at home, bring it back with me, is they have one for the display. So if you have the OLED display, so I think this one would be pretty cool. Right. I'm really starting to lean towards switching over to a rack for my primary radios so all right so that's just gonna sit down in there right nothing fancy uh, we're gonna charge it up uh, connect the oh I don't have the antenna connected I'm glad it's not powered up <clears throat> there the antenna will thread on I'm just gonna gently do that because I want to make sure this glue is secure and that's that cover is gonna go on like that and we're ready to go. I could use some of these other ports in the future for running my solar panel cable into. In this case, is supposed to be IP55. Um, it's like I said, it's not going to be directly exposed to uh, rain or nothing, but it'll be. Okay, so fast forward a couple weeks. I ended up getting some different adhesive. The Polymax adhesive I was using there in the beginning didn't work the way I wanted it to. It would be better to have a drill so I could do a bulkhead connector in there. You can hear it rattles around. That doesn't really matter if you're mounting this fix. So phase two of this project is going to be a mounting bracket to a J-pole solar input. I'm getting about a week out of a single charge on this. And then um, I could probably get a little better if I uh, disabled the GPS module, which is really not necessary for a fixed node. And then, like I said, adding solar amount and a Yagi so that I can make contact, hopefully, with that gentleman or person in Montenegro. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our social media links website and all the affiliate links, which will be down below. Stay tuned for more great videos. Next one is going to be on basically the parts and tools you might need if you want to start building your own fixed node. So thanks for watching.